Javier is from Government Research uh, in Mexico, and uh, he's a Java and alumni, he keeps coming. Uh, I work for Caesars Interactive in Los Angeles. Uh, Naveen Hamid, uh, he works in New York Times, he's here from New Jersey. The project that we work on uh, is a home automation platform. It's built on top of uh, a research project that Javier was working on, which is a portal that allows you to register some new, which is, is, is a portal uh, developed using Tomcat and MySQL. Uh, so there is a home gateway Raspberry Pi, which uh, kind of uh, we have given the uh, like you know component diagram here, but, but all the devices can talk to a home gateway which is essentially running on Raspberry Pi. You can configure the devices. So there, there, are, there are two kinds of devices. One of the sensor devices or like, you know, event producer devices which will produce events like temperature sensor, light sensor, or like, you know, uh, or proximity sensor, for example, if somebody is on your gate, so you can have a sensor at the gate and you can uh, have that sensor, uh, like, you know, uh, be pulled. The idea is the server has all of the information about each gateway. We, we can have multiple uh, multiple gateways. Uh, each gateway, in this case, is an, an Raspberry Pi. It could be an Arduino, it could be another kind of device. And the idea is that this device can recollect all of the information from the different uh, sensors or, or, or relays or whatever that we have connected to the gateway. And the gateway send that information to the server. And in the server, we can interact and uh, generate some rules to uh, interact between one or different gateways. So we can create a rule that if we have a, 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 a sensor in in Mexico, in my house, we can interact with one another rule that is in, in this part. But one important thing, thing is one well, is that the, the gateway is open a connection, open a socket connection to the server. So we don't need to 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 have access directly to this gateway. The, the, it's, an, it's an invert connection. Yes. The, the gateway open the, con the connection to the server, so we can get have access to whatever that we have, what well, we stay, uh, to direct it to this gateway. Well, this is an, another part. But another important part that we develop is that the, this gateway, we develop a, a bootloader. Bootloader to create, to, to, to load the code from the server. So in, this, in, in the Raspberry Pi, we only have a, a very short uh, chart. Two, two, two kilobytes. It's a bootloader that uh, uh, connect to the server, and the server get all of the code and um, start the Raspberry Pi. If we need to update the server, the, 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 in this case the gateway, we can send a message to the gateway to uh, go down and reload the code directly to the server. This is the process that we developed. This is the rule server that we inherited from Javier's research. And uh, so, uh, just in case, so th this process has a logic of reading all the devices uh, that are in your home that we need to, that this home gate they should be pulling for. And this action server is the, uh, so once, once the poll server pulls the devices, it sends it to the rule server, and rule server might have certain uh, uh, actions configured against those. And if, if there is an action configured, then rule server will send it to the action server, and action server will execute those actions, which could be turning the TV screen on. What we have uh, done is um, we only so we, we we can support both locally uh, locally uh, configured uh, target devices. That, that's what we're calling target devices uh, through through GPIO programming or the target devices that are accessible through REST web services. Services. And there's a target devices that was another configuration that where we are configuring all the target devices that need to uh, that that will be the recipient of the targets that the rule server will be uh, target action that the rule server will be sending to the. Uh, yeah. The important thing uh, here is that we have uh, uh, three concepts. One is the context. We have uh, we can create context. Uh, maybe one context is when you are in your house. When you are, an old context when you are 
out of your house, when in maybe in game mode. You can create a different context because you have to create rules, but the rules have to be associated to a, a, context, a specific context depending on what you are doing in that moment. You can have groups. All of the devices you can uh, group group that devices in different kinds. In this, we uh, they are dynamic. We can uh, group, have a good the uh, relays, lamps, security, sensors, uh, whatever that you can create. And you can define different uh, groups. You have another concept that is the gateway. In this case, I, I have a gateway in my home that is offline. It's not connected in this moment. We have a gateway, the Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi one. That is uh, that Raspberry Pi. We can add uh, another Raspberry Pi with only with the bootloader. When we stay in in-home, uh, we uh, we have a distance sensor. Uh, if the distance sensor is is more than twenty, we can activate the fan. Well, the yes. So. Um, so to to add just just uh, one. so to so the, what we did in the last few days is that we added the the gateway logic that's running on the Raspberry Pi that's actually talking to the rule server by sending you by pulling the sensor devices and then update if there is a status change sending it to the rule server and then rule server is running logic that's sending to the our action server which is again on the Raspberry Pi that hey uh, like you know, with these because of these values change we need to run this command and that action server which is running on Raspberry Pi calls these web services or can uh, actually trigger the sensors if they are connected on GPIO. But we don't have that. We haven't done the GPIO because we didn't have time to learn Pi 4J. Yes, when we stay in, in home, we can, uh, when, if, you, if the distance is uh, more than 20, and, and, and then the fan will be thrown out. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That, this is an example. What? What? what, what <laughs>